Hey guys, it's Jane from Legion Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Battlefield 2018, um, and we're going to be talking about um, sort of why I think the cosmetics are so weird in the game, and I it's not really a think, it's uh, why I know cosmetics are so weird in the game, and now uh, we're doing this in a live commentary format, something a lot of you new viewers may not have seen me do, um, but we're just going to sort of be doing a live commentary on Battlefield 4. Um, this is mostly because I'm just trying to try something new out that I haven't done in a little bit. Um, and also because I'm kind of running low on gameplay because all the videos I've been pumping out. So we're just going to be doing this live. And if you guys are new here, again, don't forget to subscribe. And also I'll be doing a PSN gift card, Xbox uh, gift card giveaway, all that stuff. Uh, whatever platform you're on, I'll be giving it away to the winner at the end of the month. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that. And also I'm going to do a Battlefield 5 giveaway probably. Ooh, little voice crack there. <laughs> Battlefield 5 giveaway. Um, probably right before the beta so that you guys can get oh, access to that. So again, don't forget to stay tuned for that. Okay, so the main reason why they're going to uh, put these cosmetics into the game is because we don't have premium anymore. And I do not know why bullets weren't hitting there. But we don't have premium anymore in this game. Um, so they need to have some way to fund the uh, map packs and all that stuff they're bringing to the game. And that is going to come in the form of cosmetics. Now, having just plain old World War II cosmetics would not be um, something that people would be interested in buying, probably. I mean, some people would, but it would not sell nearly as much as the uh, current cosmetic system is going to. Just because these ones are a lot more unique and different, and it's something that they can market and sell a lot better. Um, and it's just something that people will probably want to go for, more unique looking characters and stuff like that. Um, so that's the main reason why we have these weird looking characters and stuff like that. Um, it's just because... Um, of the nature of not having premium. So a lot of people in the community wanted to get rid of premium, but this is the price you have to pay when you get rid of premium. You're going to basically have some other way to fund the uh, post-launch content in the game. Oh, 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 okay, get out of here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Holy crap, we're going off. What the heck? Give me this, give me this my kit. But I, while I don't think that that's the reason for having like the women in the game, I think that the uh, females in the game are um, mostly a result of them just wanting to, I don't know, equally represent everyone in the war, even though women weren't really in the war that much and should not be equally represented to men. Men should definitely be represented more. And maybe having like one female character in the game would be okay, but having her be on the cover of the game is just kind of alienating to me. And so I basically think that like having these cosmetics is overall a good thing. Well, it takes away from the immersion, I think that it will allow us to have free DLC, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I personally didn't really think there's anything wrong with the premium system. Um, a lot of games, at least games that get a lot of support, have a premium-like system, and um, it's honestly fine. I think the issue just sort of came from the fact that people just didn't like paying that much money, but we did get guaranteed four to five DLCs in every Battlefield game. Even Battlefield Hardline had four DLCs, and if we had like a live service and not a premium service where they had to guarantee us that we get all those DLCs, I really don't think Hardline would have got all their DLCs because they would have just abandoned the game um, when it flopped at the beginning. So while I do think there's advantages to not having a premium system such as basically just the cost, it definitely will also hurt the franchise. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, dude, that guy got me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm probably going to end the video here. I mean, we did join this Conquest game late, but I mean, come on. Going 15 and 3, I'll take that, boys. Kind of went off there. Um, I'm going to be live streaming later tonight. Don't forget to stay tuned for that. I will probably be live streaming, like, right after this video goes live. Um, but that's what it is for you guys. Tell me how you guys like the new format, and I'll see you guys next time.